There's no standard arrangement of the instruments, but with, almost without exception, they are placed at right angles to one another. And this is uh, goes along with the superstitions that they have of making sure that they set at right angles. But larger instruments are usually towards the back of the ensemble. Uh, the loud playing, when uh, you, you heard in your listening examples, some of these louder types of playing are usually associated with festivals, processions, and other outdoor noisy events. The soft playing is usually involved with singing or indoor events like uh, the shadow puppetry. They're usually made of bronze. Uh, brass and iron are also used, but bronze uh, instruments are the of choice. And the forging also has a mystical significance and rituals involved in making these instruments. Large gongs can require up to a full month of labor and a truckload of coal. Uh, meditation, prayer, and fasting goes along with the making of these instruments. Careful handling. Uh, if you hit a gong incorrectly, sometimes it can crack. Uh, each gamelan is generally a unique set that certain instruments have been made for this ensemble and the specific tuning of, the, of its own uh, ensemble. There may be a specific ensemble that was made uh, for a temple court or something or to fit the phys a particular physical condition or the taste of a, uh, an individual owner. And Javanese music is closely related with other performing arts. Concerts of gamelan music are, are more often for social events uh, and then also for weddings or other special events. And it's also performed most often as an accompaniment for, a, for dance or theater like you see in your video of the shadow pup tree and then you can also see people dancing as gamelans being played. Uh, the ensembles might accompany a drama based on Javanese legendary history. Uh, one thing I also learned is when Christianity was being introduced in this area, it wasn't allowed to be talked about, So, but they could display Christianity within uh, shadow puppets. So, and uh, musicians during shadow puppets don't do not always play constantly, but must be ready to respond to a signal from the puppeteer. Now we're going to be looking at the other island of Bali, which is very similar in musical practices, but has some differences. Another very beautiful island, uh, a great place to, to visit or live, tourist attraction. Bali defines the word paradise, the combination of friendly, hospitable people, a magnificently visual culture infused with spirituality and spectacular beaches with great surfing and diving have made Bali Indonesia's unparalleled number one tourist attraction. There are 20,000 temples on the island. Unlike any other island, it's largely Muslim. Bali is a pocket of Hindu religion uh, culture. So Hindu religion is, is more popular. And uh, twice a year, there are uh, each of these 20,000 temples holds festivals at least twice a year. So a lot of festivities going on year-round in Bali. Bali has spectacular beauty. Most people are involved in some kind of artistic work. 
There's a blend of Hindu and Buddhist practices, not as much Islam influence. Music is similar to Java, but not the same. Uh, instruments are tuned slightly different, and it creates a shimmering effect. Also in their music, there's a lot of stopping and starting, and tempos are not as constant in Balinese music. Now here's a picture of when you have uh, two different instruments, like one that's tuned at 7 hertz, that means the beats of the, the vibrations are occurring at a certain speed, and one at 8 hertz. When these overlap, we get a shimmering type effect. Here's a picture of a Balinese uh, gamelan. And uh, in conclusion, the terms that you need to know, the gamelan is the ensemble, the tuning of the scales is Palog and Slendro, and remember that tuning in Bali is sometimes are out of tune to create a shimmering effect. A Ding is an ensemble for uh, a piece written for gamelan. There's loud and soft playing styles, and then also the differences in Bali is uh, more dynamic fluctuations.